everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Battalion Wars Revisited. Last time, we took control of a battalion under Empress Leiko, the Solar Empire, and helped defend a Solar Empire base at Tiki Bay in the Campaign 3 bonus mission. And we got to play around with their really cool fighters. We uh, saw how indestructible their tanks are. We only lost, like, one in that and lost most of our infantry, but still somehow knocked out with an A rank, which I still don't know how I was able to pull that off. Anyways, today, it's time for us to finally leave the Solar Empire once and for all and begin the invasion of Exylvania as we cross the bridges on the River Styx. The enemy has been beaten back to their borders. Now it's time to finish the job. We must invade at once before the Exylvanians dig in and entrench their position. To this end, your advance party must secure the bridgehead to the Exylvanian heartland. Howdy, Commander, and welcome to the Exylvanian hinterlands. Pretty, ain't they? The four bridges that cross the river Styx are the only way to cross these treacherous canyons. And find the road to Exylvania. Whatever happens, we gotta keep these bridges in one piece. Vlad knows this, and he has demolition teams working on the bridges already. We need to capture these three radar arrays to prevent them from broadcasting the detonation signal. Time is a factor here, Commander. We got less than seven minutes to capture those radar arrays before Vlad can destroy the bridges. Engine's running, sir. All right, boys, let's get a move on. I do not like that bomber flying overhead, but don't worry, we got a fair decent number of missile vets with us, as well as a large number of grunts and assault vets, and three heavy tanks to work with, so I think we should be good. We start taking the fight, we're going to use the tanks as mobile cover for our infantry, push up across the bridge, and take out these towers before they can do significant damage to our troops. Uh, something I really like about this mission is the bit of a historical context behind it, because technically we are invading the heartlands of Exylvania. Calibrate the radar arrays. And, uh, and it, it's a nice callback to World War II, where it's like they had to capture key bridges to be able to break into Germany. So it's nice that we, we have to have a tough fight ahead of us. And speaking of a tough fight, I should probably go over the layout of the map. It's a tough one. There's the bridge that was destroyed in the cutscene with three of our heavy tanks lost in it. Uh, we got a lot of ground forces between us and our goals. As you just saw earlier, we got a whole bunch of rocket vets, and it's like, I think, like, five of them together here yeah five total we got some towers over here which we got the grunt stand outside so if i kill them fast enough maybe i might be able to steal a tower from them uh i think we got a couple towers. no it's the next one uh let's see we got the bomber flying overhead which we're gonna need to take care of we got some grunts here we got a whole mess of grunts and rocket vets right here we got a couple towers hiding up in the mountain range right here we got some more rocket vests. This level really does love its rocket vests, but the biggest threat right now is, well, the two heavy tanks right here, but also the pair of artillery waiting at the other end of this bridge. We unfortunately cannot cross this bridge right here because I believe, like, right at this point, it's completely barricaded off and we can't break through it. So the artillery has basic free reign to attack us until we are able to cross the other bridge. Now, just keep moving, and we're just already going to be losing our first tank. I honestly wish they had given us a bazooka bet for this mission because going in with the troops that we have now, we are, the tanks are the only thing that we're going to have that will be able to do significant damage to these towers. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to take the the grunts out. Oh no, they actually already man, they're just behind sandbags. All right, boys, go grab that. And of course, there's a jerry can right there just the to taunt me. Enemy is making fast progress. Bring forward the artillery. It's time to get a move on, boys. Alright. The Frontier has destroyed one of my radar arrays. This is unacceptable. We gotta pick up the pace, Commander. If we don't take out those radar arrays, you can actually target the, the uh, troop behind the sandbag. Oh, we just lost a pair of grunts in that bomb and run. I need to take that thing out fast. Where is Commander Uber? He was supposed to be watching these canyons. Commander, we have 
Let's take out this empty tower so before they pick up our boys. Good so far. Doesn't look like it's taken out any of our troops. Okay, you gotta go. There we go. Finally, going after that bomber. All right, grunts. You guys take care of that. I'm gonna grab the jerry can real quick. How's the battalion looking? Missile vets are good. Assaults are good. Grunts are good, and our other heavy tank is also doing pretty really good. Only one radar array remaining. All right, I'm kind of dreading to see what the score is because of the fact that we lost a heavy tank during this mission, as well as a couple of ground forces. Actually, I stole the parts from the campus factory and use it, but that is beside the point. Attack! <laughs> I love that it's just like uh, it's beside the point of where the radar array came from. All right, come on, guys. I need you to work overtime here. Okay, good. You took him out rather fast. Now, the time limit does look scary. It kind of is, especially if you are new to this mission. But thankfully, the entire mission isn't timed. It's just until we take care of all the radar arrays, which after we snag this one, we will do so. We won't have to worry about a time limit any longer. I hear a bomber flying overhead. Where are you? There you are. Boys, go after him. Yep, no peace making a flyby. The last of my get it, get, get is get him. destroyed. Guys. Switch off my men is responsible for this outrageous display of incompetence. I got you guys suck. Looks like we won. I think you need to adjust your targeting commander. parameters on your uh, missile boys, cause you guys could not hit that thing when it was just flying right over you. Well, at least we're getting some reinforcements, thankfully. They are much welcome. In fact, I think this actually is when Herman uh, gives us some um, bazooka vets. Alright. Yep. Of course, Herman doesn't give us the bazooka vets right off the bat. No, we have to work for him. Alright, you boys, work on those rockets. I'm gonna go take care of this artillery back here so it doesn't harass our troops. And as you can see right there, there's the blockade that would uh, prevent our troops from being able to cross this bridge and getting to the artillery, but they would still have free reign to attack us. Okay, so going forward, uh, first and foremost, uh, guys, can you take care of that, please? Beautiful. Okay, first and foremost, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop my troops off right here, and I'm going to switch to a more far away view, because we got a bit of a very ugly challenge up ahead, and I'd rather just do, go and do the solo Welcome instead of risking the battalion. Welcome to the of Shadows, General Hurst. My tank commanders have been waiting for you. This it's was what I would consider to be the hardest part of the entire mission, as well as the entire game, especially if you're doing a challenge run of this. You know what? I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, what what could there, possibly commander. give you that bad feeling, Herman? Frontier command is authorized air support. Yeah, the air support that Frontier Command authorized was a pair of fighters that are absolutely useless. Yeah, we got bombers overhead, but the missile vets are going to keep my battalion safe. You couldn't spare for the Strato, a bomber, gunships, anything? Something that would be useful against this, these guys? I guess they were too busy in other campaigns, but I mean, this can't be like the only bridge crossing into Exylvania, right? There had to be like multiples, and this is just the one I was tasked with, right? They wouldn't leave me high and dry with uh, petty reinforcements, All right? Ah oh, well. Uh, well, well, this is actually a bit of a challenge if you're doing a, a challenge run of this, especially if you're only playing as a grunt. I've learned through playthroughs of this that the battalion doesn't really control well inside this area, and it's really best to just go at this moving alone. With the tricky maneuvering and... Uh, you know, just making sure you know where the heavy tanks are and using the creators as cover. You can actually just straight up solo this, and it's actually a lot easier to just solo it with a heavy tank or a bazooka bed. Especially when you're just driving in circles around all these heavy tank drivers because their shots just keep missing you for the most part. 
Okay, I gotta do Take care of the last piece of artillery. I like that our fly boys aren't even bothering to take care of the bomber instead of harassing me. But are we supposed to hold this position so the rest of the army can pass through and uh, we can begin the invasion proper? No? All right. Oh, boys are on their way. Let's make a move on. Our pilots are absolutely the useless valley, during Commander, it. Check your radar for the coordinates. Our gunners just could not care one bit about we being shot it, at. Commander. We've entered Exylvania. Now we can find Kaiser Vlad and finish this thing. Now we got a long drive ahead not of us. so fast, General Herman. You are a long way from the Vladstark, and Exylvania tends to be unkind to unwelcome visitors. But wait. Where is my sword? Ingrid! Evil! Those fools! Sent for my personal gunship, I must away to the Cenotaph! Wow, S-Ring, really? Also, I, I guess the bombers uh, did take a big chunk of our power, but really, I lost more in power than I did with Technique, especially after losing those grunts and I think an assault vet and the heavy tank to that bombing run. Okay, this game's being generous to me and I'll take it. Also, that uh, warning Vlad was giving sounded kind of ominous. Wonder if it's gonna mean anything. Well, Either way, next time on Battalion Wars, it's a long road to Exylvania, and it's time to begin the invasion proper. See you guys next time. Later. What?